Dear Traveller and welcome. Today I'm excited to present to you the Nikon Coolpix 995. This has been a camera that I have wanted to try for a while now and I'm glad I did. So let's take a look at the beast from the early 2000s. Ah, remember the early 2000s? It was like living in the future. Technology was getting cheaper and more accessible by the day. And the coolest tech had flippy stuff or spinny things. That was the height of awesomeness. Enter the Nikon Coolpix 995. Released in early 2000s, this puppy was loaded with a 3.3 megapixel CCD sensor. This sensor had a CYGM color filter array, but we'll get to that later. 38mm to 152mm equivalent lens, f2.6 to an f5.1, max shutter speed of 23 hundredths of a second, it has a manual mode and fully auto, built in flash, takes CF cards, shoots JPEGs and TIFFs, also max out at 800, viewfinder and blah 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 blah, who cares, whatever. Let's get to the reason why we're here. It's got a rotating body design. The design of this camera is something to behold. It really is a feat of engineering at the time. And not just as a novelty, but this design truly works. Because of the rotating lens elements, it means that this camera has been designed to be used single-handedly, and that's a big bonus to me. The top screen is completely useless as it goes against the whole point of the camera. The grip is amazing, it feels like you're holding a pro DSLR. You're talking about the grip. This bad boy has the Nikon red accent that gives it a true legend status 500 plus 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 plus. It also has a viewfinder and it's about as good as you would imagine it to be. However, the viewfinder is around the same focal distance as your eyes, so you can raise the camera to your eye, keep both eyes open as you pretend to be a cyborg from the year 2021. Anyway, as I stated before, this camera has a CYGM, which stands for Cyan Yellow Green Magenta Sensor Filter Array. Without, without getting into the geekery of it all, let's just say that this is designed to have a better dynamic range and luminance compared to the Bayer sensor made by our old mate Brycey. So keep an eye out for the colours that this Space Cadet can achieve. The Nikon Coolpix 995 was sold for a whopping $900 US on release. This was a premium camera at the time, and it shows. The camera is a high quality and has beautiful dials and controls, and is also made in Japan. So let's check out some images that I got from this beast from the east. This has been a really fun camera to use, and it can produce some really good quality images. My copy seems to make some soft images on the edge of the frame, but that could just be the fault of my copy. If you can get one for a good price, I definitely recommend it, as it's an iconic design and creates a unique user experience. Oh, and all those images I took were straight out of the camera JPEGs. Well thanks for watching, and as always, leave a comment and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm a shy boy. Coming to destroy the world.